Today, let's do a little soul searching. This one may hurt a little, but it will ultimately be worth it. Hi, I'm Douglas Kruger. Welcome to From Amateur to Expert. So today what I'd like to do is to give you a tool for getting back on track with your primary goal. What's the big one for you? Broadly speaking, there are two ways in which we motivate ourselves. There's positive motivation and negative. And as you can guess, we're going negative today. So the positive one is fairly obvious, and most people tend to do it. It's the dream board, the one that has the picture of you as the published author, the CEO, the singer on the stage, doing and living out that thing that means the most to you. Now, of course, the problem with these big long-term goals is that the more important they are, the longer they take to get there, the longer they take to accomplish. And that means we can do several self-sabotaging things to ourselves. We can suffer simple fatigue. We can start to talk ourselves out of it. We can justify reasons why it might not happen. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to picture in your mind that outcome, that goal, that life, that means the most to you. And I would like you to compare it against the counterfoil of three simple thought exercises. They go like this. Number one, are you working away from something? Number two, could you bear to have your story end without it realized? And number three, were they right about you? So, number one. Are you working away from something? Did you, for example, grow up in poverty and you vowed to change your stars? What was the thing that caused that why in you in the first place? The genesis of your reason for wanting to go from something that you didn't like to where you wanted to be. What was that like for you? How bad was it? Was it embarrassing? Was it difficult? Were you struggling to pull someone else through it? What was that scenario that you wanted to escape that caused you to dream of the better life, the better goal, the better outcome? Now the question is, could you bear to go back to it? Or is the thought of reverting to that life sufficiently repulsive for you that it spurs you on to push just that little harder to keep blowing on the embers? Number two, take your goal and compare it to this thought. Could you bear to have your story end without that goal realized. Your life story from one end to the other. You, born, living, growing, accomplishing, and passing away. What if that thing doesn't appear in that timeline because you simply never did it? Can you bear that thought? Or is that enough to spur you on? And number three, were they right about you? Even the highest achieving individuals had that one person in their past who didn't believe in them. That one person who said that you would never do it. Who was that for you? And were they right? Or will you prove them wrong? Can you tolerate the smugness of their victory? Or is it finally time to show them what you're really made of? Decades ago, in one of the old Star Treks, Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise says... I need my pain. Perhaps our pain is one of the greatest motivating factors in really achieving our goals. If you found that you've been flagging and failing and that you've been giving up motivation, you've been self-sabotaging, try your goal out in relation to those three thoughts. If it hurts enough, perhaps it'll get you going again. Use those negatives to light that fire in you and in the story of your life, they may ultimately prove to be invaluable.